Welcome to the Bulls Ladies Tour here on GCN Racing. Yesterday we saw Annemiek van Vleuten win the prologue on the Tom Dumoulin bike park in Sittard in that magnificent rainbow jersey. So she gets to wear the orange leaders jersey today in the Bulls Ladies Tour, a UCI Women's World Tour race. Lisa Klein in second, Lucinda Brandt in third and Pater Noster and Brenauer round up the top five of the prologue and therefore also the general classification. Stage one from Stramproy to Weerts in the province of Limburg, still in the south of the country, one of the shorter road stages, 123 kilometers. Proved to be a very hectic and very nervous affair today with many crashes taking out uh, many riders. This is where Annemiek van Vleuten, the race leader, is held up by a crash, including uh, Michaela Harvey, who had to abandon the rider of uh, Bigler. But this time, Annemiek van Vleuten is not so lucky because she is part of this big pile-up of riders and has to uh, chase back on. Needs some new shorts for tomorrow. And 50 seconds is the gap for the World Time Trial Champion, 44 kilometers from the finish line. So that will take some effort from the race leader to catch back on. Her goal this week is not to go for the overall classification. There's no long time trial and there's no really hard stage in the south of the Netherlands on the Amstel Gold Race terrain. So she wants to go for stage wins, but she manages to catch back on 35 kilometers from the finish line when we are on the local circuit. First time we cross the finish line, there's a Queen of the Mountain sprint, which is a bit odd because this stage is as flat as it gets. But an attack by Ashley Mormon Passio will give her that iconic polka dot jersey because she will be the first to cross the line to take home the five points for the mountain jersey today. No reaction so far from the peloton, meaning that the South African champion of the CCC Live team crosses the line first with two more laps to go. Counter-attack then by the Richmond, Virginia world champion, Lizzie Dijkman. She manages to take 20 seconds on the peloton, but she cannot bridge the 20 seconds between her and Ashley Mormon Passio. She does get the jersey for most aggressive rider though. Three bonus seconds there for Ashley Mormon Passio, two for Lizzie Dijkman, and very importantly here, one second for Letizia Paternoster because this year in the Bulls Ladies Tour, there's not going to be a really hard stage, so it's going to be about the bonus seconds every day. Nine seconds was the gap for Pater Noster in the overall on Annemiek van Vleuten, so that's down to eight at the moment. More sprints here when we cross the finish line for the penultimate time for the blue jersey, the intermediate sprint jersey, also going to Ashley Mormon Passio in second place, Alison Jackson of the Tipco team. And after a monstrous effort there by Ellen van Dijk, at a certain point Lizzie Dijkman even screamed at her teammate, Ellen, easy, we are going to face a sprint, or are we? Because Monique Teniglo tries in the final two kilometers to stay clear of the bunch. She has tried over and over again this year to win a race, and it's not going to be today either, unfortunately, for the Midgerton Scott rider, because we're going to have a sprint between the two big sprinters from the Netherlands, Kirsten Wild, on the right, Lorena Wiebes on the left. Wiebes, the 20-year-old rider, has never beaten Kirsten Wild in a head-to-head -head sprint, and this is the first time that she does that. The Dutch national champion of the Park Hotel Valkenburg team wins the first stage. Teammate Belle de Gast is happy, of course, as well. And she also wins 10 bonus seconds. Kirsten Wild in second, Pater Noster again in third place taking another four bonification seconds, meaning that she moves up now to fourth place in the overall. In second place, Lorena Wiebes, but still holding that orange leader's jersey, Annemiek van Vleuten.